The world is evolving. New technologies inspire every aspect of our lives. We accompany the transformation journey of the changing world. We design, develop, produce and move forward without boundaries. We lead the way to move the world forward with our flexible high-tech production capability and engineering infrastructure. Kaisa marks on transportation sector with the strength derived from 55 years of experience. Traveling millions of kilometers across the world with our electric vehicles, we become a part of the city. Moving forward with high-tech vehicles, vision in autonomous and electric products, we are now complete with the new members of our electric bus family, IATA Sirius. We carry the sustainable future today. We meet present and the future with innovative solutions. Now, we bring the future right in front of you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch ceremony of Carson's brand new family number, members, 10, 12, and 18 meters IATA electric buses. My name is Cenk Doar, and I'm once again honored to be presenting another exciting Carson event. I'm sure you can recall, not long ago, only a couple of months ago, we were right here at the same point, launching another Carson product, Autonomous Attack Electric, the first ever driverless electric bus in the world. It was fascinating. Today, we are welcoming our new family members. We are currently broadcasting from Carsan's Bursa facility, which is established on 200,000 square meters of land, 90,000 of which is indoors. Here can be produced 180 ready-to-use vehicles per day, thanks to Carsan's 1,100 personnel working in impeccable harmony. This family has always been strong and forward-thinking through its corporate structure, and this remains so despite COVID-19 situation. Scenarios were established, plans were made, and obviously well executed. If you happen to have any questions during our event today, please do not hesitate to write them down below, and we'll be more than happy to answer them at the end of our event. So, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Carson CEO, Mr. Okambash. Welcome, sir. Hi, Jenk. It's wonderful to be back here. Yes, uh, it's very good to see you again. Thank you very much. I recall during our last event, the Autonomous Attack Electric uh, launching, you said our next target is to have a full range electric fleet within the same year. And I think you managed it. Yeah, it has been a long, uh, very tiring uh, sessions, but we have overcome everything and we are here. We kept our promise with our new IATA series of this new line. Let's take our seats. Well, this journey is obviously a very exciting journey for you. So what was your vision at the beginning of the journey? Or let me rephrase it. What made you to take the step? Uh, before coming to that, first of all, I would like to welcome uh, all our guests. It's an honor uh, to have you here with us today. Uh, thank you for being with us. What led uh, you to this journey, sir? First of all, today is a historical day for us, for Carson. As you may recall, Carson is a 55-year-old automotive company a Turkish automotive company of that much experience. And today, in this long history, an historical day which will be remembered in the coming years and never will be forgotten. 
Kharsan has experienced a great transformation, especially in the last five years. It has pivoted to future and reinvented itself with future technologies. And the change continues at full speed. We call this journey Kharsan Electric Evolution, and it is symbolized by the letter E of electric. Today is one of the most important days of this transformation. As of today, why is so? As of today, our entire range from 6 meter up to 18 meter becomes electric. In addition to our existing 6 meter jets and 8 meter attack models, we are now introducing our new EATA series, which are 10, 12, and 18 meter buses. Thus, we become the first and unique, I would like to repeat once again, the first and unique European brand that can offer its customers electric vehicles from 6 meters up to 18 meters. Well, sir, despite the fact that there are serious European competitors with governments pressurizing them about clean energy, it, it sounds like an incredible achievement managing to have a, a fleet fully electrocuted, the only one in Europe. Absolutely. We launched the first products of this transformation within a year apart, initially just and later attack. It was in 2018, end of 2018. Before the end of 2019, we launched the second vehicle of eight meters attack. The re rapid deployment was only achievable due to Carson's greatest strength, which is its people. Such ambitions can become reality only if you have very ambitious employees who are courageously introducing ever-evolving technologies into their lives. In this way, Carson becomes a brand that constantly learns and reinvents itself. Our first electric vehicle, 6-meter Jest, was the European market leader in its segment last year, which, was, which is a great achievement. After only two years of its launch, we became the market leader with Jest. And our second model, after Jest, 8-meter attack, has best range in its class. It is also in great demand in European markets, especially in France, Germany, and Romania. We have been in the market for two years with Jest and Attack. We have gained valuable experience with these models by reaching more than 2 million kilometers driven across Europe. 2 million kilometers is, is, is something. I mean, it's especially in such a short time, two years. It's a lot of experience, just like you mentioned. And well, evolution is actually built on experience. So what comes next? Yes, I would like to repeat once again, each of our new products will continue to be more mature and innovative more than previous one. In this transformation, evolution, we call it evolution, electric evolution, is a constant journey. The first stop of this journey was that the products are electric. The next stop is to have them all driverless, autonomous public transportation vehicles. We already introduced our first autonomous electric vehicle attack at the beginning of this year, as you may recall. It is currently being used in Romania and Turkish presidency, and very soon in Michigan State University in USA. And the new projects are on the way. It's, it's good to hear that there are new projects coming on, uh, but where is Carson at the moment? Uh, up until now, we have been in a relatively small part of the European market with our uh, six meters and eight meters jest and attack buses. The main players of the European city bus market are 12 meters and 18 meters products, and they make up more than 80% of the market. To be more precise, it's 83%. The trend towards electric vehicles accelerated recently. Conversion rate of 35% by 2024 and 50% by 2030 is expected. Major metropoles, on the other hand, like Paris, London, Hamburg, 
even have zero emission goals set for their public transportation systems today. Carson, on the other hand, predicted this trend, these new happenings to be uh, in the market five years ago and formed the strategic plans accordingly. And we today see how good projection we have made in the past. Now, today, as I was saying, we were planning to put in the market our whole big bus range before the end of this year, and today this is happening. We are present in the whole market with our ATA series of 10 meter, 12 meter, and 18 meter fully electric buses, which have, we are putting today. And now, Carsan has a product range that can meet all the public transportation needs from 6 to 18 meters. Mr. Bash, do you think it's the time? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very proud to announce IATA series. They look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they look even better on the road. Let's watch. Big cities need lasting energy. Low energy consumption, long range, flexible battery options, and superior technology. All in Born Electric IATA. Travel without boundaries and save your energy. Carson IATA. Meet the Carson E family with all electric full city bus range 6 to 18 meters and save your energy. Wow, you were right. They really look better on the road. Yeah. So, sir. We've been talking about Carson's evolution up until now, but I would like to dig a little more into IATA's technical details, actually. And therefore, I would like to invite Mr. Dennis Chetin to our stage. Hey, how are you doing? Hi, sir. Hey. Welcome. It's great having you. Yeah, it's also a precious thank day you. for you. Uh, excuse me? It's also a precious day for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it was a long journey until here for Carson, and we have actually a long way to go. Well, actually, let's, let's hear from you. How would you describe IATA e series? First, I'd like to say that IATA e has three different lengths, 10 meters, 12 meters, and 18 meters. Uh, sorry to interrupt. You said we have three different lengths, but I only see two. Uh, well, you're right because this stage is only 50 meters wide and only these two buses could fit over here and the other one is actually waiting outside in front of the door. That's 50 meters here. That's, that is the biggest stage I've been on. I'm sorry for interrupting. Me as well, actually. <laughs> Please yeah. carry on. Yeah, me as well. So no worries. Uh, IATA is designed to be an electric city bus from its origins. Uh, so we can call it born, it was born electric. 
this structure has many advantages because it's a purpose-built bus. While its catophoresis coated lightweight body offers a solid infrastructure for electrical components, its futuristic exterior design is also impressive. On the other hand, its hub motor technology positioned on the wheels offer an efficient driving experience while providing a large, spacious, and ergonomic interior traveling space. These motors, I mean hub motors, allow EATA to climb even the steepest slopes with ease by delivering 250 kilowatt of peak power and 22,000 newton meter of torque for 10 and 12 meters. On 18 meters, hub motors with a peak power of 500 kilowatt offering full performance even at the maximum passenger capacity. Its geometry also helps us to create a full low floor and offers ease of access in the interior area. That's a very important feature. Flat floor from the first step, from the top to toe, it's, there's no obstacle. Uh, it's such a great feature, especially for, for passengers. Wonderful. But sir, what about the different needs of different operators? How would uh, EATA adapt? Well, that's, uh, it's an important topic for us because what we are serving is public and working close with operators and business partners for such a long time. We have seen that each city and each bus line has its own unique set of needs. So we designed IATA with flexible battery packs to meet all kinds of different needs. For this purpose, we are offering seven different battery packs from 150 kilowatt hour all the way up to 600 kilowatt hour. Well, this is an important number. Seven different battery pack is great. It, it offers, it, it has many different applications, it can respond to all different needs. While our maximum capacity is 450 kilowatt hour for 12 meters, we can increase it to 600 kilowatt hour for 18 meters. With these flexible battery pack options, first we analyze operator needs because they all have different needs. Then we offer our most suitable solution to meet range, passenger capacity and charging requirements. Thanks to these different batteries, we can offer a range of up to 450 kilometers. 450 kilometers. That's right. That's a, that's a long range. But I guess it's, uh, it's an empty bus on a non-stop oh, no, no, basis. No, no, well, uh, you got that wrong, actually. Uh, I would like to emphasize, I'm glad you asked that question because I'd like to emphasize on 450 kilometers. It is real driving conditions, right? And it is not a calculated data. It is measured data straight from the fields, straight from the daily usage. I mean, on an actual bus line with frequent stops, seven passengers on board, fully loaded, all day long climate control in summer condition. This is the toughest condition you can get. This value is hard to reach with in today's electric bus market actually. With a range of 450 kilometers, we can say that IATA is the most prominent bus in its class. So, but, but this, at least this 450 kilometers, this long range, to achieve this, we need a big battery pack, I assume. So we probably have sacrificed from the passenger capacity. Well, I'm sorry, but you're wrong, my friend. It's again, again? yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, again. but yeah, because, but you're, uh, that's normal because one of the common preconceived notions about electric buses that you can only have a high range or a high passenger capacity, but not the both at the same time. Well, that was before, actually. Uh, we, are about, we are here to proudly announce that we are changing it. Uh, with IATA, we are shattering this notion. IATA provides both at the same time, thanks to its lightweight body and electrical components that was picked very carefully by our R&D team. 
For instance, 12 meter IATA can carry 89 passengers in one of the large battery configuration with a range of 400 kilometers. IATA 10, 12, and 18 meters can accommodate more than 90, 100, and 150 passengers, respectively, according to the battery capacity and operator's requirements, of course. On the other hand, low floor seats and flexible seat layout responds to all expectations. In other words, IATA is extremely flexible in passenger capacity. Well, the concept of electric vehicles is always attractive, but always the same question rises. How long does it take to fully charge this battery pack? Yep, that's the question we got the most, actually. Uh, IATA has a charging power of up to 150 kilowatt with a wired connection. Of course, there are some alternative connections that we offer our customers as well. Um, but with the wired connection, the charging time varies between one hour and four hours, depending on the preferred battery pack, of course. The maximum battery pack can be fully charged in two hours for 10 meters, three hours for 12 meters, while for 18 meters, the maximum battery pack can be fully charged only in four hours. Uh, with a just single charge, IATA can easily run for 20 plus hours and complete daily operations without needing a second set of charge. That's a very important numbers for that our uh, R&D and our product achieved. This is the most distinguished feature of IATA and my personal uh, favor, actually, actually. In addition to that, in IATA, a high capacity fast, fast charging option can be selected as well. We offer that option as well which allows the driver to charge in a short time at stops without even getting out of the vehicle. Mm. Those, are, those are all fascinating, uh, fabulous information you're giving. But actually, on the other hand, what matters the most is security. What additional technologies you adapted for security? E yes, this is safety, something... Actually, safety, what yes, I mean. Yes, exactly. This is something you, you could never, you can never uh, jeopardize. So safety comes first. It is very important. So we focused on driver comfort while designing IATA. In addition to making drivers more comfortable, we have also equipped our vehicle with the latest technologies to increase driving safety. Drivers can control every detail with our VDV compatible cockpit. They can obtain, obtain consumption, diagnostic information, and warnings through the digital cluster. Air suspension seats provides an all-day comfortable ride, especially on colder days, because it's heating feature. It's very comfortable, by the way. <laughs> on the other hand, the isolated driver's cabin completely separates the driver's area, allowing for a more focused driving experience. Mirror camera is another safety feature as well, is a technological innovation that we introduced with IATA. Our aim is to increase safety and prevent accidents with the wide view angle of the system. At the same time, by using compact cameras, the turning radius of IATA is reduced by 6% compared to that of standard mirrors. Uh, I'd like to mention about our peripheral vision system as well. It, we, we consider that as part of safety. Uh, the peripheral vision system in IATA eliminates risk of accidents and injuries with additional safety features such as collision warning, lane departure warning, and blind spot recognition. Moreover, IATA provides high-level functional safety with its software and electrical components in accordance with the ISO standards. Since the vehicle runs really silent, we include, we had to include a vehicle alerting system to provide an artificial sound to warn not only pedestrians, but also animals. No, that, 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 that is a very interesting yeah. data. So it's that this big 18 meters bus is so silent that you had to put some artificial sound to it. Exactly. This is where the world is going. Well, it's changing. So uh, another item that I want to uh, mention real quick is 
uh, our efficient air conditioning system. We used an inverter AC system developed specifically for electric buses. Again, this bus, remember, this bus born electric. It's purpose built. This highly effective AC system draws minimum power and enables us to maintain our superior range. The 100% fresh air system with additional air purifier filters the air up to 99% from bacteria and viruses, including COVID-19. That's very up to date. Yeah, that's very up to date. You know, uh, our telematic software enables operators to remotely monitor uh, their fleet from their operation centers. Information such as route tracking, charge status, and error codes can be accessed remotely. This enables operators to quickly respond to situation and reduce their downtimes, which is a most critical component for our customers. Thank you very much. We've been discussing about IATA from different ends. Now I'd like to ask you a question uh, from the operator's end. You know, when, when a candidate is applying for a job, they ask, why should we hire you? Now I ask from the operator's end, why should the operator prefer IATA? Well, uh, IATA is a born electric bus, first of all. It was born and created as an electric bus from scratch. We built upon our experience with six meter and eight meter electric buses in designing IATA. You know, we had uh, past experience, two million kilometers of experience of electric buses with our six meter and eight meter buses. And we converged everything, every experience while developing this IATA series. This is the second one. Plus, IATA is one step ahead of its competitors with its first, the range, 400 kilometers of range. Second, high passenger capacity. It is a full low floor bus. There is no obstacle around. It's just flat from entrance to the most uh, rear seat. Then. It is ultra-low consumption. This is the most important uh, feature of this uh, range. The consumption is very, very low. Flexible battery options, we can uh, design a solution with different battery options, with different battery configurations to every customer needs. And it is a combination of very different innovative technologies, which Dennis uh, described uh, a few minutes ago. That is flexibility, technology, comfort, and economy altogether. In short, IATA is an all-in-one electric urban bus, which offers everything sought after by an operator. Let's take one step further. IATA series, with this IATA series, as Carsan, we offer a full electric range of 6 meters to 18 meter city buses. Full range, from 6 meters up to 18 meters. And that is our biggest unique selling point. Finally, operators will be able to fulfill their electric vehicle needs of any size at Carsan, from small binibus bus to articulated bus as a one-stop solution partner. Therefore, with our electric product family in all sizes, with this big range from six meters to 18 meters, we say, future is here with Carsan. So, let's see the future. The future is here. It's not far. It's close enough to touch. Unique enough to reflect yourself. The future is at hand, in the blink of an eye. Rebellious enough to push limits. Pure enough to rejuvenate yourself with every breath.
The future is smart enough to know what you crave. Mighty enough to lead technology. The future is not far. The future is the experience inspired by countless kilometers of our electric vehicles, designed specifically for your needs. For the past 50 years, the future has been evolving into perfection with Carson. And now, it's right in front of you. This is not the end of this journey. As I mentioned before, our final goal, ultimate goal, is autonomous driverless driving. We have introduced our autonomous attack at the beginning of this year as the first step towards this goal. Next, we will develop all our electric city buses with driverless technology in the coming years leading the evolution of public transportation industry, Carsan will continue to bring the future to the present with this evolution. So I guess uh, with our evolution, electric evolution, our buses, uh, the, the six and eight meter buses, Jest and uh, Jest Electric and Attack Electric are now to be called E-Jest and E-Electric, right? That's right, exactly, that's right, Cenk. We will call e attack e -Jest from now on. Do you think we will be able to manage starting the serial production of e series by the end of the year? Well, um, I am very happy to say that the serial production of e family has already started. In fact, our first order came from Romania for the 10-meter e -attack. We will deliver the first IATA fleet of 10 units to the Romanian city of Slatina before the end of this year in December. On the other hand, just last month, we have signed agreements with two Romanian cities for a total of 56 units of 18-meter IATA. We plan to deliver these buses in 2022. This is a very important agreement. In real terms, this 35 million euro agreement is a very significant agreement as it is the largest electric bus export deal of Turkey. With this agreement, we will also be providing an integrated transportation ecosystem, not only buses. We will be supplying charging infrastructures, six-year vehicle service and all the warranty manage uh, management it is a complete transportation solution to a city. Mr. Bash, Mr. Chetin, thank you very much. Thank you. It was on an, an honor to be here again. It was fascinating what we heard about the electric evolution of Carsan and was what e ATA series will achieve. At the beginning of our program, we asked our weavers to send questions to us. And my colleagues are warning me right now that there are plenty coming in. But since we're running out of time, we will only be able to answer some of those questions. Now I kindly ask my colleagues to show us the questions. So the first one is about the life of the batteries. What is the useful life of the batteries of IATA? Well, um, I think it's a very good question. Uh, we have talked about the charging issue, range issue, but what is the life? With IATA, we offer high battery safety and long battery life thanks to its most up-to-date battery cell technology. Our batteries have a useful life, a lifespan of minimum eight years. It's uh, minimum eight years, I can say. But of course, depending on the uh, usage conditions to the routes that uh, vehicles will be used at, this value can be increased up to 12 years. This is depending. So I can say between eight years up to maximum 12 years. Wow. So the second question is, uh, 
that is a very expected question. It's about the prices. How much does an IATA cost? But please answer them for each single bus, 10, 12, and 18 meters, please. Yeah, sure. Let, let me respond that because this is a type of question we get the most again. Um, well, unfortunately, there is no standard type bus when it comes to public transportation. Since each operator has their unique demands and requirements, all cities are different. All their needs are different. So what they need is, could be such as extra battery capacity, additional features, charging station, extended, war extended warranty and maintenance, and the list goes on. So it's not ideal to talk about a price of a standard bus. Uh, so rather, we prepare our offers according to the optimum solution we can provide after analyzing the needs of that specific operators. After that, we come up with uh, the price. Let me, let me put it this way. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we have time only for one more question. The final question would be, well, actually, you have already mentioned about the Romanian deal, but let me ask you, you again. When and uh, in which European countries will the new electric buses go on the roads? Well, uh, as I said, uh, we will first start our uh, deployment with 10 units of 10 meters IATA by the end of this year to the Romanian city of Slatina. However, before that, before that, we will start a roadshow in different cities all over Europe. The first batch will be to Italy, Romania, and France in October. So we will immediately start roadshows in three different countries, Italy, Romania, and France simultaneously in October. And right after this, in November, we will be presenting our new series, IATA series, with 12 meters uh, in Spain, Portugal, Germany, and also one bus for North and East European countries. So in these roadshow events, we will be presenting for the real life tests for our potential customers. So in total, we will be in parallel all over Europe in a short time, showing, presenting our vehicles, making customers test our vehicles in their real-life uh, situations. Gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much. Thank you. For giving us this honor. It was, it was wonderful being here. Uh, we are going to end our program today. If there is nothing else you would like to add. Well, uh, I just would like to thank once again for those who are with us today because it's a very important day for us, which we prepared tirelessly for months and come up with these products, with, it, with these jewels, which will be serving to our customers all over Europe. I hope they will get their deserved uh, interest from you. You will have time to test and see the products in your cities, in your countries in a very short time. Thank you once again. Thank you for being with us in this historical day for Karsan. Thank you for everything. Have, uh, I wish everybody good health and uh, good future. Thank you. Thank you very much once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hoping to see you physically next time. As you know, due to COVID-19 restrictions that affected the whole wild world, we had to broadcast our events, but I am sure, right, next events will be physically face-to-face, -face, so Hopefully. our viewers will be able to hear touching and seeing our new buses coming yes, up. Yes, I would like to add one more thing. Unfortunately, in these last two launch events, we had to make it due to COVID-19 restrictions uh, online uh, presentations for our important launch events, but 
in the near future, we will be having new opportunities to get together and hopefully it will be physical and we will be proud to be together in our plant, in our premises in Bursa. Thank you once again. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for being here with us, sharing our excitement in the launching event of launching ceremony of IATA series and Carson's electric evolution that led Carson to be the only European company which offers all range electric buses. Stay healthy. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>